Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. Today I'm going to talk about uh, a contest that Timmy BMN had and how to keep Mama happy. All right. So since I'm talking about my dear sweet wife, I thought it'd be appropriate if I shot her gun. Now the gun itself is a pre-model tin with a standard barrel and as you see I put some fluorescent paint on the site. It was made in 1950. I've got the hoe grips. Now normally I prefer the wooden grips but because my wife has issues with carpal tunnel I put these on for her. Now this was a former police officer's firearm and it's the best shooter of all the handguns I have past and present. This is the most accurate. Says a lot for how they used to make those Smith & Wesson revolvers. So now let's back around, start working back to keeping uh, my dear sweet wife happy. I won a contest. You know, Timmy BMN had a contest, had an essay contest on YouTube. You know, write about your favorite YouTube firearms channel and explain why in 200 words or less. Well, you know, I've never been short of being able to write. And uh, I thought, well, you know something? I'm going to write about my favorite channel. <laughs> the channel I enjoy the most watching is Mr. Holster. Uh, I enjoy his sense of humor. I like his firearm knowledge. I learn things from him. And I enjoy seeing things about the ranch. You know, that interests me. And, uh, you know, overall, he presents. <laughs> Him and his sidekick Jack, they present. Hey, I can't, I, I'm laughing now. My wife will hear me laughing and she'll go, Greg, you must be watching Mr. Holster. Yes, Scott has a very dry sense of humor. And uh, I've, even, I've even come to really like his monologues. Because you know something, it's good, clean humor. And in this day and time, that's something we don't have enough of. So anyway, I wrote my essay about Mr. Holster. And I won. I won a $300 gift certificate to Palmetto State Army Armory. And I was like, yeah, baby. My first AR build. I'm going to get started on it. But you know, things get in the way. And I owe it all to my buddy Hank. Now, if any of you are familiar with Uncle Dan, of shooting with Uncle Dan, Hank is the Georgia redneck version of Uncle Dan. And, and Hank tells me, when I told him about the, the contest and what I was going to do, and he goes, well, Greg, why don't, why, don't, why don't you find something that Miss Lori will like? Why don't you see if she sees something <laughs> that she will like? I'm like, oh, my goodness. And, you know, when I first started, uh, when I first got back into firearms for a very good reason, about four and a half years ago, you know, Lori was very afraid of, even though I'd been a police officer, you know, and I always kept my service weapon locked up, but she was so afraid of having firearms. And one of the first guns I bought was an SD9VE, a Smith & Wesson. And I didn't check over the gun when I bought it, and it had a lot of flaws. It had a warped frame. And I bought it for her, for her and my daughter to shoot and to learn to shoot. And the first time she shot it, a ball of fire came out of the side of the gun, and it's a wonder she didn't drop it or throw it down. And she started yelling at me, what are you trying to do, kill me? And it really took me a while before I could get her to shoot another firearm. Now, I had a bolt-action twenty-two she liked a lot, you know, a Ruger American. But she, overall, she was afraid of fire, firearms, and we, I really needed her and my daughter both to be at least moderately proficient in case something happened when I was not at home. And I'm not at home a lot because of my job. So my wife loves cowboy movies and she loves John Wayne. And to her, a gun, a real gun, looks like this. She doesn't like snub nose revolvers she does not like semi-automatics. So I let her shoot a lot of my revolvers. 
And we, I even tried to get her to shoot some of the modern striker-fired polymer guns, but after that SD9, she wasn't having any of it. And this is the one that she chose. Now, being as how this gun is so uber accurate, you know, I had no problems with that. I'm very pleased with it. But once again, she doesn't shoot it that often, and she needs to practice more. And the reason she doesn't, because after, you know, 12, 18 rounds with this gun, it starts to hurt her wrist and hands very, very badly. So, I show her the Palmetto Armory website. And of course, what gun does her eyes light upon? Ye old Heritage Rough Rider. Now this one has both the uh, cylinders for 22 long and 22 magnum. Right now I'm starting her on the 22 long to get her used to working single action. And conceivably that 22 magnum, once she gets used to this gun, this may be her home defense gun. Now a lot of people are going to say, well 22, even 22 magnum. Well listen, you work with where you're at. You know, my wife's not big on firearms. She's afraid of firearms. She does see the need for a firearm in the home that she can use to protect her ch children and her grandchildren. You know, so you have to start, if you have a wife or a girlfriend that you want to get into firearms, you have to start them off slow, unless they already have that interest in, in guns. So. This is what I should have bought her in the beginning. Something like this, 22 caliber pistol. Something to get her started with. Something to learn how to get target acquisition on. You know, learning those fundamentals about getting your sight picture and your trigger squeeze. Now, as far as the Rough Rider, uh, the finish isn't anything to write home about, but hey, for the money you pay, it's not a bad looking gun. I actually purchased two of them I'm waiting on one with the bird's head grip to get here. Uh, it's on back order. But this one is on the money accurate with both the uh, 22 long and the uh, 22 magnum. It's a fun gun to shoot. I got her out to the range today and, and she's had a blast with it. And she really likes it. And now for the first time, I've really got her motivated to want to learn how to shoot and how to shoot better. So I want to thank Timmy for the contest. And uh, I want to thank Mr. Holster for having me a good subject to write about. And I want to thank my dear wife for at least understanding and, and being... Uh, sympathetic towards her husband's hobby and passion which is firearms and now I, hopefully I've got her on board even more than in the past so this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness reminding you always be prepared for the unexpected